Hi everyone, hope you guys are doing great. Today's video is going to be about some of the best open source applications available on Android. But before I start this video, I just wanted to let you guys know that there was a community guidelines strike on my channel and the previous video I published which was like a week ago that was removed from YouTube and I also got a warning on one of my previous videos which I had uploaded like 4 months ago that video was also removed. So there was a delay in posting this video which you are watching right now. I think I need to be very careful about selecting and posting content here on YouTube and I'll make sure I take care of all that. Now let's keep that aside and let's take a look at all these applications one by one. We are going to start this video with an incredible application known as Delta Chat. This application lets you chat over email making it very easy to communicate and it is compatible with Gmail, Outlook as well as other email providers so that won't be an issue here. The main highlights of this application include end-to-end -end encryption, a fast communication process, clean and elegant design and it is completely safe and secure. One incredible feature in this application is that it will show you the message from known users only. So you will definitely get a clean look without any spam. And the login process is very straightforward. If you have an existing Gmail or Outlook account in your device, you can use those credentials here and start using this application. So this is how the main interface of the application looks like. You can use multiple accounts or send messages to yourself for taking any notes or reminders. You get normal settings here as you would expect from any email application but in advanced settings you get to choose end-to-end -end encryption or send an auto -crypt setup message or choose to block screenshots and use incognito keyboard which are some really good features. With all these awesome features this is a must have application and you guys should definitely give it a try. The second application in today's list is simply the best out there. Well if not the best it is definitely one of the best applications to play around PDF files. As the interface has a lot going on, I thought to show you this application using an Android tablet. Well, you will get the same features in your Android phone as well. So this is how the main interface of the application looks like. You can convert images to PDF, text to PDF, Excel to PDF, Merge PDF, Split PDF. Well, there's a lot more you can do with PDF files here. But there are some features which really stand out here like adding or removing passwords, adding a watermark or removing duplicate pages, which are some really good features. I thought I will show you a simple tutorial here for adding a password to any PDF file. You can simply click on this add password, select the PDF file from the device storage or you will also get an option to select PDF files at this uh, bottom section here. You can select the file and click on this create PDF, add your favorite password and that's it, your PDF file is now password protected. This application is also available on Google Play Store which is really good so this should be easily accessible, right? Well I would recommend you guys to give it a try and I'm sure you are going to enjoy using it. Now if you are looking for an alternative to Google Maps. The third application in this list is going to amaze you. It's known as Organic Maps and it works offline. It's free, open source and has no trackers, so making it a great alternative to Google Maps. This application does not collect your data and provides you a neat and a clean interface to browse your favorite locations. So when you start using this application for the first time, you have to give this location access to get the general and the exact map for your area. Then you can enjoy the offline experience. And if you want to download any additional maps, you would need the internet connection just for that, otherwise this application is completely offline. You get all the important features like searching for your favorite location or checking any hotel, bank, pharmacy, all at your fingertips. Dark theme is supported as well which looks much better in my opinion. Well you can do pretty much everything that you would be able to do with Google Maps. But yeah, Organic Maps is completely open source and it is very light on the device battery as well. So do consider checking this out. Organic Maps is also available on Google Play Store so you can get it from there as well. And the only things missing in this application include Android Auto, Public Transport, Satellite Maps and some other features and I'm sure they will be added in the future updates. The fourth application in today's list is an interesting application. So when you take any picture using your phone camera, it captures most of the information like the location where the photo was taken if you have provided the location access. It also captures other information like the device model and name, focal length, exposure, aperture and ISO. All this comes under exhib data. So if you share your photo on social media or send it to someone else, all this information might be shared as well. That is why scrambled exhib comes into picture. It helps in removing this exhib data from your image so that you can share it without any concern. Let me show you how this application works so you can open the image you want to share. Tap on this share button and select scrambled exhib. And once you tap on this scrambled exhib, you will get a quick share option again and you can then go ahead and share it using any platform. Now I will show you a picture which I took with my phone camera and I will also show you the same picture shared using this scrambled exif. And if you go to this image information you will see that scrambled exif has removed all the exif data, right? 
So this is how the application works. It is a simple tool to help remove metadata from your image so that you can share your photos without worrying about privacy. Now this takes us to application number 5 which is the last application in today's list. So when you are visiting any website and you want to save it, there are many ways to do it, right? But LinkHub is an amazing open source application which allows you to save your links in a very organized manner. You can create folders with names in multiple colors or create links with title, subtitle, URL and all these links and folders are sorted based on your usage. There is also a swipe to delete function on this main homepage with undo option as well. And you can also import and export the data in JSON format. There are two ways you can save your favorite links. The first method is through the manual entry. You can add all the details manually. Or if you are visiting any website, you can simply select the website and share it through link hub. And it will automatically create a title, subtitle and the URL which I think is a much better way of saving your links. You can also get this application from Google Play Store if you want to. I will place all the download links in the video description. So this rounds up today's video on some of the best open source applications available on Android and I hope this video was helpful. And if you are interested in trying some other open source applications, I have some other videos on my channel. You can take a look at those videos as well and I am sure you will find them helpful. And if this is your first time on this channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on channel notifications so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon in my next video.